Here's my lasagna. About a pound and a half of ground beef. Two different um, cans of tomato sauce. Or spaghetti sauce. I like to use the tomato basil and garlic and then garlic and herb or any kind of tomato, anything that has garlic in it, I use it. Then I have black pepper, salt, garlic and herb, seasonal, onion powder, garlic, have ricotta cheese, mozzarella and parmesan mix, oven regular lasagna, fresh chopped onion and fresh minced garlic. Uh, and one other thing I forgot to mention, I use this Italian seasoned by McCormick. And I also like to season twice. See like my ground beef twice. So I season it on one side, I stir it in, fry it up a little bit, and I season it one more time. If you're a person that like a lot of garlic, add a lot of garlic, like me. Of course, you know if your ground beef makes a lot of oil, they want to drain it. But my ground beef is browned. So next, I am going to add my sauce to the beef. I added in my other half of sauce. So I'm going to season the sauce with, with the same seasoning that I use for the meat. Don't have to put too much, but you want to give your food that same flavor as your meat. The sauce, you know, typically has a bland, bitter taste. So you want to season it up and you want to add some sugar as well. Just a, just, just a little bit of sugar so it could cut cut out um the like the bitter taste of the sauce i put the sugar in normally i do not measure my sugar i put a couple of just a tablespoon put a couple of tablespoons in there um and then i do a little taste and so make sure you do a little taste when you add just a couple of tablespoons. Do a taste first to see um, if it knocked out that bitter taste. If not, then you can add a little bit more. So just season it and put sugar in there to your liking. Other half um, of the sauce, I put it in a bowl and I season it up. Because I use, I use this on my bottom of my pan. So the bottom of your lasagna pan, you want to have sauce. So I normally coat this. With the bottom of my pan. Separate bowl, you want to empty um, a bag of cheese and the uh, 15 ounce ricotta into the bowl, and you want to mix it. All right, so I sprayed my pan down and I put um, about a cup of sauce, the regular sauce, at the bottom of my pan. After I do that, I want to put three pieces of lasagna. Uh, this is very horrible one hand, side by side. Now, these lasagna sheets, although they don't go to the end of the pan, they will expand in the oven. That's one good thing about them, they expand in the oven. By the way, while I'm doing all, all this, I have my oven on 375. So as you've seen, I have the little three sheets of lasagna down here. Like I said, don't 
We're gonna worry about it not being all the way to the end. It will expand in the oven. So what I like to do for my meat sauce, I like to use this cup and pour it over the lasagna sheets. And I like to spread it like that. You can spray it with a spoon, spatula, whatever, but I like to spray I'm using this cup already, so I might as well use it to spread it. Then I have to take my lasagna and put cheese on this. I like to just spread the cheese on here. So what I do is I take the spatula and spread the cheese mix across the um, across the pasta like so. Again, this is ricotta, mozzarella, and parmesan cheese. And you don't have to cake it on there. Depending on how many layers you are doing. Um, so the cheese will go down on top of the meat sauce. So you face it down. And then you'll just keep following the steps. You'll, you on, on, on top of this pasta, you put meat, the cheese mixture. You can add a little uh, like mozzarella cheese on top of that. And then go to the next layer until you're done. I normally have like three layers. Um, when I do mine, which is not a bad lasagna. This is how my first layer looks. Like I said, I, I laid the, the cheese down on the meat. And I'm going to do the same for the rest of them. Put meat sauce, cheese mixture, and probably some fresh cheese. Okay, for your last layer, you want to put the lasagna on there, like I said, with the meat sauce. And spread it. This is the top layer, by the way, top layer. So spread the meat sauce across. Then you're going to put the remaining of your cheese mix you have left on top. And then you're going to top that with some shredded mozzarella. This is how my finished product look. Again, it's not all the way on the ends, but it will expand in the oven. And I'm going to cover it with foil. I'm going to bake it for 25 minutes covered. Then I will take the fall off and I'll bake it for five more minutes uncovered. It has, my lasagna has been in for 25 minutes. I will take off the foil. I will let it um, bake for about five more minutes. So the cheese kind of brown a little bit. Yes, yes, I need finishing products. Now, remember, I said it will expand to the end. You see how my lasagna is on the edge of the pan, so it definitely went to the end of the pan. Bon appetit!